Hello, welcome to this video for the BMW 520D M Sport Automatic. This is a 2017 registered vehicle on the 17 Reg here in the UK. It's covered 58,947 miles, so almost 59,000 miles. Uh, this is a two owner vehicle, so it's one former keeper. It's got the full service history got the BMW service history right up until 43,000 miles uh, and then it's got two services from a local garage with the receipts, the invoices there. This has got two keys, it has the uh, black grille. We're just waiting for the logbook to come back, so that's the private reg number. We're waiting for the logbook to come back with the 17 reg on. So it's got the gloss black grille. Uh, excuse these... Um, these little flies, these little flies by the way, so they're not, uh, yeah, it's just because it's white paintwork and today's a really hot day, so the flies are all over the white. Okay, uh, it's got the Goodyear tyres, as you can see. Let's get right under here. I think I've took photos of these tyres, so they're all the tyres are in good condition as well. It's just passed an MOT, no advisors. The MOT is 22nd of July. These are the uh, 20 inch alloy wheels, as you can see, this is the wheel that gets the most, uh, how should I say, uh, closest to the kerb, and as you can see, it is in very good condition. Okay, it goes to the brake disc, the brake disc look good as well, as you can see, nice and clean and not rusty. The Goodyear tyres, there's no dents down the side of the car, edge of the wing mirror is good there. Got the uh, screen there, is good condition, no cracks, no chipping either, no chips. As you can see, it's got the lane assist radars there as well. Uh, also for the adaptive cruise control, etc. Yeah, like I say, excuse me about the flies. It's mother nature, little flies everywhere. So this wheel, as you can see, immaculate condition. The rear disc, all shiny, no rust on them. Very clean, same again. Got the Goodyear Eagle tires on as well. You see your parking sensors there. I say all these little flies, yeah. They're everywhere. These flies. I'm sorry about this. You can see the flies are everywhere. Uh, unmarked wing mirror there, the screen there, unmarked. It's that wheel. Yeah, they're all over the bonnet. These flies. They're not. They're not. They're not chips or anything. Okay. Uh, so that's the outside. The roof is good as well. Let me start opening the inside here. Start from the door edge, absolutely unmarked, no scuffs, no scratches, no tears, nothing like that, no fingernail scratches. So this vehicle has is quite high spec, as you know, Harman Kardon sound system, so tweeters, speakers, so it's got something like 17 speakers this vehicle, or possibly more. It's got the leather door card there, uh, it has the uh, obviously electric mirror, electric windows as well, this lovely uh, silver like diamond cut finish, uh, garnish, should we call it. It's got the uh, boot release button there. So it is electric tailgate release, this one. M Sport stainless steel kick plate. Uh, the tailored fit car mat set. Electric seats. Electric seats. Heated as well, of course. Go right here, you see the bolster. There's no wear on there, on the bolster, or the bottom bolster there. No cigarette burns, no cigarette smells at all. It's got the lovely, uh, it's got the uh, extended leather dash, so you can see the leather goes all the way up the top of the dash. Let me just turn this radio down. So yeah, so the extended leather goes all the way up the top of the dash. Up there, it's got this uh, mood lighting as well. At the moment it's set at bright green, as you can just about see the green lighting. So you can set that through the uh, iDrive there. Uh, it has got these sort of semi-virtual clocks, should we say. 
semi virtual clocks it's got the M Sport steering wheel uh, with the cruise control uh, the paddle shift gaiters there this is nice leather stitching there on the airbag in the center and it's got the automatic lights as well there automatic lights with the high gloss piano black trim so it's got the high gloss gloss piano black trim extended leather uh, which goes at the top of the dash there and works all the way down here the side so that's the leather leather stitching the high gloss piano black trim and the diamond silver trim as well so this is the uh, USB port drinks holder there there's a key there there is two keys with this one press that that's the cover nice and neatly uh, you've got your climate control controls here obviously with your heated seat button there and it's their dual zone dual zone climate uh, you've got a CD slot there as you can see so there's a CD player uh, you've got your lane assist button there so that's good you've got your traffic um, updates button there start stop button there obviously keyless as you'd expect uh, at the moment we've got the sat nav so if we press menu uh, we'll go to my vehicle so my vehicle uh, so you can see on the right there the service history everything's green and okay so there's nothing major due uh, engine oil check it's all if you look at there the next engine oil service is due uh, in 7,000 miles or in March 2023 whichever comes first uh, vehicle vehicle check there that's the vehicle check. The main vehicle check is due March 2025 in 18,000 miles, whichever comes first. The brake fluid change there is in May 2022. Brake fluid. Uh, vehicle inspection, that means the MOT. The MOT is due next year in July 2022. If we go up to the top, it says service history. We press that, it shows you the service history. So starting from delivery mileage, that's the BMW dealer there at six miles. That's when the car was registered, 10th of the 6th, when it was checked. Okay, and then obviously the next year there, it was done at the same BMW dealer, as you can see. The code on the end, 08614, and the mileage is 16,800. So it was serviced by them, and then the next service was by the same BMW dealer again, uh, and the mileage there was 33,222. Then the next one was here, different BMW dealer, as you can see the number. Uh, and the service was 43,900. So that's 43,900. It was serviced. It was probably when the second owner bought this. So the second and current owner bought this vehicle then. That's when it was serviced. Uh, you can always tell because ideally the next service should have been in June. Uh, sorry, July, as it says there. So that's that's uh, July. So July and then it's May. It was serviced. So if I get the service invoices out here, which you can see. Then we've got one here, which states at the, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. So this one, so the last service was there, 43,900, and which was in May, 2020. So here, the date we've got, July, 2020, about 2,000 miles on at 45,700, it's had a service. So the new owner, just to make sure, has had it serviced at his garage here, then so and that was in 2020 and then the next service was here this one so this was this year in january so in march 2021 at 53,000 miles it had a service again as you can see oil filter uh engine oil screen wash and ad blue okay so that's had a service there okay so it's all receipted all the jct 600 service history and the bmw service history is all all receipted There's a receipt there for uh, JCT 600 as well so it's all there we've got the log book there with the private reg number on so we're waiting for the new log book to come through with the normal number plate on uh, so at the moment it's still showing as taxed this vehicle uh, and then uh, that's pretty much it down here we've got this um, we've got the USB got the USB input somewhere and uh, let's go to the outside of the vehicle just doing a video so the outside of the vehicle let's go back to the inside here at the bike it's got three full-size seats with a headrest and three seat belts uh, the fitted car mats there the tailor fit car mats it's got these magazine pockets here as well it's got the heater controls here and a 12 volt as well there uh, the Harman Kardashev speaker system K 
carries on through here. M, M Tech uh, or M, yeah, M Sport kick plates are there as well. And then here we've also got some more, some more Harman Kardon speakers. Okay. So this door shuts very clean, as you can see. There's no scratches. There's no scratches on the door or the lever. Nothing down here as well. It's all clean. Right, even all these door shuts are clean as well. All this in here, all clean, as to be expected. Look in the petrol cap, the petrol cap here. So it is AdBlue, so that's your AdBlue system there. Obviously there'll be an indicator which shows you how much AdBlue fluid is left in the tank and you fill it up there. The rear, like I said, it's electric tailgate, so we just click that and it comes up, electric, and that's the electric button there. So you've got a warning triangle there. You've got the, uh, oh, there's a mat in here. Just take this mat out, so you've got your your storage there as you can see very clean let me just look in here so inside this one you pull this lid off inside there you've got your little tool kit with your locking wheel nut and your screwdrivers etc okay so just press that there so that's closed it's got this lovely rear spoiler there I'll just show you this door this door shut so this is the door that gets used the most let's go down here there's no dents scratches anything out of the ordinary, no tears in the lever, no, you know, kids being naughty and making a mess. So that's really good. Got the fitted car mats. M-Tech door, door sill protector. And then down here, there's no trap seat belt marks at all. This rubber's nice as well, as you can see. And it's all nice and clean down here. Properly valeted as well. Oh, you've got this fold down armrest. You pull that armrest down and you've got a drinks holder which folds out there. Drinks holder, that's all been cleaned. There's no coffee stains there. So that's that. It's got your Isofix child fixing points as all new cars have got. So, you know, then this door, the last door. So that's this lovely leather stitching as you can see all the way along there, the Harman Kardon all the white stitching there so it's got white stitching on this handle and lever arm and cord and again drinks holder there all the door shuts are nice and clean the M Sport kick plate there all this is clean the rubbers are in all good condition nothing's worn there's no smell of smoke the seat immaculate condition the bolster not worn at all no tears no cigarette burns same with the centre console and the armrest, all clean. There's a lovely leather dish, uh, stitching on the dash. Let's go back to the uh, drivers. Let's pull the, uh, let's pull the bonnet there, so it's a double pull. Let's pull that to release that. Double pull, and then lift that. And here the engine be running all the time you can hear it how it's nice but it's got the uh, BMW cover it's got the carbon fiber as well there you can see the carbon fiber uh, trim there all of this is very clean up here as well all clean At the time of doing this video, I've just been asked to make this video because we've got someone really interested in buying this vehicle now. So, you know, I'm doing a really nice video for you, going through it, make sure you're happy. It's got the, uh, as you can see, it's got the privacy glass pack as well. So the rear windows are darkened, really dark. They're more black. It's got that. It's got that lovely aerial on the on the top of the roof, the shark's fin aerial. It's colour-coded lip spoiler. Like I said, the engine's been running all along, so you can see everything. Uh, it has got the, uh, like I say, it's got, I mean, the air conditioning is ice cold, as you can see. The window is uh, condensing, it's that cold there. So the air conditioning is ice cold. Like I say, it's a 17 red, it's got the LED lights there. A very, very nice car. And thank you for watching, uh, and I hope you buy this vehicle. Thank you.